Okay, hello everybody. Uh, hello to the one person who is in the Zoom call who is not a speaker. And uh, our X number who is watching this on YouTube with a 20 second uh, lag. Welcome to the 51st edition of Talk CFS. We did not expect to last this long. This is our fourth year as uh, most good TV series usually pick at season four and then it just goes downhill after that. This might happen to us. We shall see. Anyway, <laughs> as you can see, it is, uh, this is my room. Everybody's on Zoom. You're also at home or maybe you are queuing for bubble tea and watching this on your phone. I don't think that's true. Uh, so clearly, even though government say CV is over, it's not. Ah, okay. They have said, yeah, Circuit Breaker will be east of Ephesus. Long story short, they're just extending CBR, huh? So we are still at home and, and the Singapore CSS logo still um, encourages, you no know, mandates that you should wear a mask, like our, our logo. Uh, so uh, you can join us on these uh, channels. Uh, actually, nobody nobody really uses it. Like, this is legacy from four years ago. But the, the, the links are valid. As, for example, our homepage is still hosted on GitHub. Because we are still broke, we still have an operating budget of zero dollars. So uh, like that. Uh, we also have a newsletter. A newsletter basically is the text version of the next 10 minutes where I force all of you. Actually, I cannot force you. Uh, you can just turn off the video if you don't listen. Uh, HTML and CSS news for the month. Uh, so that's that. You can join this uh, anyhow community. Um, uh, we have code conduct. Uh, Akong say. I'm invoking the power Akong to tell you all that we do not tolerate harassment of participants in any form. Behave yourself or you'll be kicked out. And we have uh, tested this. If we kick you out in Zoom, cannot come back in. Because I accidentally kicked out a, a, a friend and then she couldn't come back in. So I'm like, apologies to a friend. Uh, next time, I will aim properly with my mouse. Uh, but yeah, so please kindly be nice to everybody. Shoutouts to engineers.hg. Uh, if you are in the Zoom call, actually, I don't know what you see on YouTube, but you will see an E icon. That's engineers.hg. And they are the ones that who have endeavored to record every single tech meetup in Singapore since a thousand years ago. Uh, and so, every meetup in Singapore needs to shout engineers.hg because they are amazing. And then, uh, the logo on the right is uh, CA, it stands for Chion, full name. Mr. Lim Chion, whom I uh, endearingly call the Sweat King of Singapore because he is the Sweat King of Singapore. Uh, first batch of Singapore CSS stickers was printed by Mr. Lim. Uh, because I cannot see you all in person, uh, I have an excessive stock of uh, stickers. We, we see how. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe if you all want, then I can go and like support Singpos and then send to you all or whatever. You see how? Uh, okay. Options, options. But we got stickers, huh? Friends, friends, friends. Meetups are friends. Uh, we are kind of a sister meetup of Singapore JS, which is like the, I, I feel they're one of the most long-standing around. They've been around for like seven, eight years, you know. Uh, they are the premier front-end meetup in Singapore. Uh, one day somebody said, hey, I think Singapore JS are very JavaScript heavy. Okay, so we spun off, then we do CSS. Uh, and then, uh, React Knowledgeable is our best friend meetup also. Uh, they relatively young, started like uh, 20 last year maybe. Um, but yes, uh, friends, friends. So you should like attend their meetups too. Post of the month, the interwebs because COVID. Uh, okay, color of the month, this is my favorite thing. So if you have never been uh, attended any of our 51 meetups before, <laughs> You probably uh, should, you can consider, if you if you never come back, I can understand. Uh, but anyway, every month we have this thing called CSS Color of the Month. Uh, there are grand total 148 CS, named CSS colors. I did not start this from the first edition, but basically long story short is that there are enough CSS colors to last about 12 years. We are somewhere in two year four, lots of colors left, so no worries. Uh, color of this month, light coral. Eh, okay. Coral is a pink orange color, which is a representation of, uh, I cannot pronounce this word, Snidarians. It's known as uh, precious corals. And light coral is a lighter version of coral. Uh, the first recorded use of coral as a color name in English was in 1513. 
Um, I may or may not be doing a lightning CSS talk on colors uh, to pet time after my two esteemed speakers. So uh, we'll maybe talk about this a bit more. Okay, so how CSS colors work is that uh, if you're like me, uh, cannot remember numbers to save your life. Like, I cannot remember phone number. No matter how beautiful it is, I can't remember. You know how I remember phone numbers, right? I use finger, physical, like I will have to tap the action to remember phone number. I can't remember number. So like hex codes don't really mean much to me. So if you don't like hex code or you don't like to write function, color functions, you can use the English word like color. No space, no dash, no underscore, like color. Just spell it out. Underscore. Uh, but if you are a numbers person, you can use like F08080 as the hex code or you can use the uh, RGB A or without an A color function to get this beautiful pinkish orangey hue on your side. Yes. TSS color of the month. Like color, everybody. Today's agenda start off as usual. Me telling you all about HTML and CSS news of the month that you don't care about, lol. And then uh, we, uh, we, we managed to snack, snack Visha, who has recently started a YouTube channel on CSS. I managed to track him, track him, uh, track, track, to make him debut, debut his second video with us. So you are premium, okay? This is like premium <laughs> content for free. Uh, and then, of course, I also managed to track Track, track CSS Queen, Olivia Ng, diving all the in, diving in all the way from KL. Ah, we <laughs> talk about grid. So there's a team here, and then if they talk very fast, then pet time, I pet time at the end, talk about colors. So, okay, without further ado, uh, let's move on to the news of the month. It's my link. So if you attended the live one, Basically, this is the point in time where I do this in front of people. So now I'm just doing the same thing virtually. Where I also, oh my god, I can memorize our GitHub account. Amazing. So proud of myself. Eh? So I uh, everything open source. Lah, cause like, close what source? There's nothing here that's worth anything. Oh my god. Anyways, 51. So June. I zoom. So, from browser land, right, actually, it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Uh, basically, from over the years, uh, the refresh, uh, no, release, release cycle has, has gotten faster for, for Firefox. Firefox has gone on to a four-week release cycle. Uh, so, depending on the calendar, right, sometimes you will get two months in a row. So, like, like this month, uh, 76 and 7. 77 came out, I think, yes. Third day, something like that. So I managed to catch it. Um, but actually, catch also no point lah because seventy seven was mostly just few updates. Hello. <laughs> um, like anyways, uh, got bug fixes. Cause like you know they always ship bug fixes, which is great. So uh, apparently the option element were when the when the element content empty, the label value for the option element wasn't displayed. It's a bug. They fix it now. Amazing. Uh, most of the things in, in 77 were dev tools for JavaScript. So I I, I, I think, I, I don't know about the rest of you. For me, like CSS debugging, I default to Firefox. Then JavaScript, I will like use Chrome. Because everybody got eight browsers installed, right? You need like two versions of Chrome, then three versions of Firefox, two versions of Safari, and then have another computer for IE, right? So this is not, this is not news. Um, but I think they're trying to catch up on, on the JavaScript tooling side of things. So a lot of 77 was um, uh, JavaScript and uh, web API updates. So you can check out there. There actually has a, a feature article on that on, on Mozilla Hex. Uh, 76 we missed last month. Um, I think what was interesting, so again, bug fix, bug fix. But what's interesting? Ah, CSS for system colors are now supported. Okay, so what are system colors? This one, right? This one a bit interesting. System colors is different from name colors. Okay, name colors is all the similar, like, what, like coral, uh, like golden rod yellow, whatever nonsense. That's named colors. System colors, right? These are fairly new, uh, introduced in CSS um, color module level four. They are relevant for something called false 
colors mode, which is also a relatively new new color mode. What you do is that your your browser is gonna restrict colors onto a user and browser defined palette. So the options for system colors, right, are things like active text, button face, field, link text, and the full list of all these, right, is inside the spec, inside the level four spec. Um, so so this is uh, now actually supported in 76. Quite interesting. So it's in a stable version. So if you, I don't know, if you have anything like non, you know, everything that's trivial, then you want to try it out, you can go and try. Quite interesting. Again, uh, the next link is the features. So there's, again, more uh, API stuff and, and, and JavaScript stuff released, including audio workloads. So that's 76. Safari technology preview, actually, I kinda, I'm kind i kind of fond of Safari technology preview these days because I, I was lucky enough to have a like chat with some of the, the, the web kit engineers once and, and I, I asked them that question. I'm like, oh, so you're like, Technology preview, is it like, you know, nightly or like Chrome's Canary where you all like try stuff out? And then you're like, the WebKit team uh, is quite small. We, we don't really have the effort for experiments. Everything that we ship in technology preview will end up in stable. I was like, whoa. I don't know if you're trying to sh throw shit or not. But basically, right, everything in technology preview, right, it's not going to be taken out. One, it's there. It's just event. See when when iOS want to roll. Uh, no, when yeah, when the OS want to roll it up. So all the stuff in technology, and they are very, actually very cutting edge. Eh? Like now is one zero seven. One zero six has already added support for the selector level four selectors. So there's where and is. It's very fun because there was this uh CSS dev rel who who posts a lot of these kind of quiz tweets. From time to time, he was asking, hey, what's the difference between is and where? Trick question. They behave exactly the same. It's just that one has a, is a, like, so is used to be matches. So the this spec has evolved over some time, right? But what do you use it? It's used to match a list of selectors. So is used to be called matches, and now they alias it. I, I don't know if matches you use can whether it works or not. If you have Safari technology preview, you can try using matches and see if it's supported. So you, you, you plug in a list of selectors and, and is will hit will let you hit everything inside the inside your brackets. Where does the same thing? It's just that where doesn't add specificity. Uh, I think this should be a proper lightning talk. Um, but but it's, it's outlined in the spec, right? You, you can go and read, it's actually quite fun. Uh, and, and and it's not just fun, it's actually gonna be very useful because it's a it's a it's, I think it's it's quite powerful in terms of like as a select a selector and it can can help in make your making your code like more concise, especially if you if your styles are very based on different states, for example. So this is pretty good. Um yeah. Should uh, should should download uh Safari TP as a uh, one of your secondary browsers. You already have eight. What's one more? Right? Uh Chrome 83 has updated form control. So uh, for a lot of the UI elements, you, we cannot start. Uh, so they are like defaults. And, and Chrome 83 kind of like made it look better. Yeah, so I uh, can go and, go and check that out. Uh, support for the revert keyword is fun. But I talked about this last, last month. So okay, I don't want to repeat myself. Ah, okay. Uh, so Microsoft had their like build event a couple of weeks ago. And they never announced, but because, I don't know, 20,000 people watch Build, someone realized that one of the presenters was using Microsoft Edge on Linux. And then he screenshotted it, and he went viral on Twitter. Uh, long story short, uh, I think Edge for Linux is, is might be coming out soon. Because, you know, they really, I think they're on purpose. Uh, they're on purpose quietly, quietly, uh, and then get some, hey, 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 do your presentation on Edge using a Linux machine, okay? Then he's probably like, okay, fine. So yeah, we did that. In spe specification land, some updates. Uh, text decoration level four working draft has been updated. Uh, text decoration, in case you didn't know what it, it covers, it covers like you know underlines, text shadows, emphasis, all that. Uh, I, I think I mentioned this about a few editions ago because one of the browsers uh, supported uh skip ink or something like that basically makes your underlines look better 
yeah so so that's 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 a good thing that's a good thing you don't have to like do the border trick to make if, if i know a lot of people don't like that the underlines are like kissing the bottom of their text sometimes then they like do that uh, this gives you more granular control over your underlines and overlines if you use those things. So that's a good thing. Display module level three also got updated. Um, basically, it's a wording updates to for to make things uh, more clear. Uh, I think they added in a very explicit line. That display is not an anim animatable property. I, I don't know if anybody tried to animate that. It doesn't make sense from an interpolation point of view. Why? Why would you try it? But I don't know, okay, but so they, they did a lot of clarifications. Uh, position layout working graph was also updated. So like they've started to rearrange, rewrite and update a lot of the stuff in CSS2 into their individual modules. So like things like display, position, you know, box model, all these were part of the huge monolithic CSS2 document. So now they're actually, you know, modularizing it as well. And then, you know, making things more clear, adding examples and things like that. I think it's a very good thing. So position, which is like, oh, you know, your relative, absolute, whatever. They've, they've kind of like put it out into its own module. Um, and and it's a it's a working draft at the moment. So so if you are, I feel that if you're confused about a lot of the positioning stuff, right, this is the spec to, to read um, because it explains the words, the, the 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 phrasing is much clearer than the the original the CSS two. I don't know if you ever tried to read the CSS two one for like how they calculate uh, sizing and wow, it's really a uh, target at engineers are uh, not target at humans one. They say it's English, uh, it's not eh. Like, I read uh, and then I read again and then read third time. I still don't get it. I read so many times before like oh I think and, and it's I think I know. But the wording for all the all the module style uh, specs are a lot more friendly. So so take it from someone who has read both. Uh, this one you trust me, you trust me. Okay. I I I thought a lot of nonsense for the most part, but this one not nonsense, this one is real. Uh and so box sizing, hey, it's now its own thing. So this is a uh, first public working graph for box sizing. And what's what's cool about this? is that it introduces an explicit aspect ratio property. So it's going to be, it's defined there. Uh, so what, what aspect ratio is used? It's used in the calculation of auto sizes. And, and I think for most of the, mo like the most recent versions of the modern browser, right, they now set the default aspect ratio of images based on your images width and height attributes. So this is not the CSS property width and height, you know. It's like your your image, right? You have a width attribute and a height attribute. It's kind of like when you do SVG, you put in those values, right? Uh, modern browsers will will detect that as a as a like a default aspect ratio. So uh, it's from Firefox seventy one onwards. I think Chromium can't remember the number and WebKit is also supporting this soon. So this is um. This is good because you can use this to prevent layout shifts. So like, uh, the most common use case, I encounter this like so often. I load a page, right? Then the image somehow never optimized and take very long to load. Then I scroll, scroll, scroll. Just as I want to click the link, jump. Oh, piss me off, eh. Um, so, so this, this ability, uh, I would say, if the browser helps you set a, a default aspect ratio, it kind of minim. I, I don't think it will get rid of it all, altogether, the jumping, but it will minimize it. So that's, that's a good like UX improvement. So so this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, there's also stuff about intrinsic sizing and extrinsic sizing. If you don't even know what that is, ah, go and read the spec, man. I'm, I'm like funneling you all to read specs. In terms of interesting links land, I think because now COVID, everybody just sit at home and write articles, lots and lots of articles. Um, let's see. Let me just point to one that is uh, interesting. Oh, okay. This one, this one, this one. Ask an expert why is CSS. Oh, this one is so good. So, uh, if you heard of Stripe, you know a friend who works at Stripe or payment payment company Stripe. They have this publication department, I think, and they they publish this magazine called Increment. 
the the online version, all the articles are free. They also have a print version, very nice. This edition, front end edition. So it's not just CSS. They've interviewed Evan Yo about view. He talks about view tree. Um there's some CSS stuff, there's like uh, architectural stuff, micro front ends, everything. It's a lot of content, it's very well designed, one of my favorite uh, sites as well as like front end related magazines. So you look for increment magazine. So this is one of the features as an expert, why CSS is the way it is. Oh my god, so good, so good. Um, so that's 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 my recommended article. The rest of it, the rest of them are also very cool. Lah. So like just gonna read lah. like you're, you're at home, what are you gonna do anyway, right? Read more, man. A lot of people also do coat pants. Uh, let's see, yeah. Okay, Animal Crossing is a thing. I don't know how many of you play Animal Crossing, but like, okay, let's show this. Uh, someone did pure CSS Animal Crossing because I guess everything in Animal Crossing can be recreated or, you know. So that's kind of cool. It's pure CSS, eh? So very impressed. You know what's even more impressive? Oh my god, did I not edit in here? Oh, shit. Okay, no, there's this. Oh, I really didn't edit in here. Oh my god, this is very bad. This is so bad. But it's the... Basically, there's a CSS oil painting. I'm going to add this in later. You're going to Google it. Lah. It, made, it made news. Um, okay, no, okay, okay, no, okay, no. I must. Use Google. Google is a better search. Is it Francine? No, basically is this 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 lady. Uh, I think she open sources everything. I'm okay. She has not. She has done this multiple times. So it's not the first time that I like like we've we've talked about this. Her CSS is different level one. It's like ah uh, this one. Oh, oh, there's a new one. Uh, come on, load M one internet. Come on, excuse me, excuse me, this is CSS, excuse me, this is CSS, eh? you right click, inspect. Can see? Okay, uh, it's not showing up in Zoom. Whatever, anyway, it's CSS. Hello everybody, you got URL, go and right click, inspect CSS. What is this? This is, this is crazy. Uh, okay, so that's it, that's it for um, news and whatever nonsense. Um, for the benefit, of uh, saving effort, Richard has a uh, kind of already sent me the link, so I'm just gonna play Premiere the Flexbox layout. 